Strategic Open Source World Creation One Community Weekly Progress Update Number 227 One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 227, July 30th, 2017 edition. Today's topic, before I jump into all our updates, is strategic open source world creation. And this is really what One Community is all about. We are strategically open sourcing all of the foundations of a sustainable civilization. And by sustainable civilization, we mean going beyond just food, energy, and housing. Everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is just part of the picture. There's actually a much bigger picture that really needs to be experienced to truly appreciate it. And this is what we call an evolution of sustainability that combines the physical foundations of sustainability with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability that creates a truly sustainable civilization. And what I mean by that is our strategic open source world creation takes food, energy, and housing and combines them with open source and high skilled education models, uh, fulfilled living models, high skilled economic models, as well as truer stewardship, like stewarding our environment, being stewards of our planet, and developing with the idea that we have the resources necessary to meet the needs of all people. We can create a truly sustainable civilization. We can create a truly sustainable world that benefits all life on this planet. And we think that it's time to do that. And so our strategic open source world creation process is built on the concept of solution models designed to create additional solution creating models, teacher demonstration hubs self-sufficient and self-sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities designed to teach others how to create self-sufficient teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities as well. And our idea is that if we can demonstrate this as easy enough, affordable enough, and make it attractive enough to people, demonstrate it as providing a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, if we can achieve that goal and make it affordable enough and easy enough, the idea will spread on its own. And so everything that you see in the background is meant to be a launch point for other projects. We are open sourcing and free sharing how to create all of this. And we will go to the details of exactly how many labor hours it's going to take, exactly how to get materials, how much it will cost, all of those specifics so that as we build, we can provide that as open source and free shared content for others to develop off of. And so thus, our strategic open source world creation process is built on the open source foundation of tools, tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of all the individual components that can then be put together as a complete te teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub. And these hubs are meant to provide a way of living that is so much better than the way that people are living right now and addresses the foundational human needs that 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 make us happy, the things that are most important for people to be happy, more free time, more things to do with that free time, more time with their family, a life of meaning and purpose because it, can, it has a contribution element built into it for those that are interested in that. You know, a life of constant growth and development and improvement for us as individuals. This is what One Community is all about. The idea of, of strategic, sustainable future world creation is that we think the model to create the world that we all know is possible is a model that simultaneously addresses all of our the challenges of our generation for generations to come because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And so we've put the food, the energy, and the housing together with the education, the economic models, the fulfilled living practices, and the true earth stewardship because all these things really work best when they fit together. And one community is meant to be that place that demonstrates that, that demonstrates what that looks like and invites people, you know, hundreds of people, then thousands of people, then tens of thousands of people, and ultimately hundreds of thousands of people to come and visit what it is that we're doing 
How long will it take for 100,000 people to experience it? Well, it depends on how successful we are at replicating the model. If we're capable of demonstrating it as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough that others will want to build this too, then the model will self-replicate. And if you run the numbers, if you do the math on what's possible with the self-replicating model, you can see that we could address the needs of the entire 7 billion and growing human population within 30 years. And the way that you do that is if you start with a group of 25 to 50 people and that first community, even if it doesn't expand on its own, it was just enough, just that one community was enough to motivate and inspire two additional communities the next year of 25 to 50 people, and then four the year after that, and then eight the year after that, and 16 and 32 and 64, and so on and so forth. That replicating model, we could actually address the needs of all of the human population within 30 years. And this is what one community is all about. And that doesn't mean that everybody has to be duplicating the same model, far from it. It actually means that it stimulates, spawns, spawns additional iterations and ideas that will be different and hopefully better. You know, creating the diversity that is necessary to represent the entire human population. You know, our, our open source plans are just the beginning. When we talk about creating and living for the highest good of all and with the consciousness for the highest good of all, that doesn't mean that it is the best way or definitely not the only way. It means that we're doing our best to create the best that we can and open sourcing and free sharing it all so that other people can take and groups can take our ideas and do something different, do something better, or do the same thing. It's whatever works best for, for people. So this is our strategic open source world creation process. And now I'd like to share with you one week of our team's progress and accomplishments, 100% uh, volunteer, unpaid team. This is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments uh, working towards strategic open source world creation as a group of nonprofit volunteers. Let's check it out. Here's the updates. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, created new Cobb Village and Strawbale Village layouts for the seven villages online book we are developing behind the scenes. You can see those images here. The core team also continued working in SketchUp on the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We added planter barrels, trees, potted plants, an easel, a walking path, and an art display around the tree, as shown here. Joss Ilunga, electrical engineer, completed his second week working on the electrical design details for the vermiculture bathrooms. You can see version 2.0 of his designs here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 21st week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was another round of revisions to the piping layouts for both freshwater and rainwater supplies to the spigots, toilets, and drinking fountains, as shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 79 of Dean's work, continuing with lighting details for the central dining and presentation area. Hamilton Medica, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 50th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was producing this high quality render of the complete village. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders. This week, he finished the final ramp connections and changes and started test rendering top-down views and planning all the other perspectives we'll render. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished working on the final sections of the DIY pipe furniture tutorial page. The resources, summary, and FAQ are now complete. The team checked the entire page in depth and corrected mistakes. We also updated the formatting and improved the content for the open source AutoCAD template page, which we'd say is now about 90% complete. The core team also transferred, formatted, and edited the first 70% of the content for the PV solar microgrid tutorial. You can see some of this work here. 
In addition, the core team created three header variations for the Wind Energy Setup and Maintenance page and chose the one on the right to add to the page. Hayes Lay, Structural Engineer, continued work on the City Center Structural Engineering tutorial. What you see here is some of his second week of work writing the content. Dipti Dondergar, Electrical Engineer, continued with her 43rd week of work on the lighting specifics for the City Center. This week's focus was three more placement and layout tests for the smaller lights within the social dome, as shown here. Bomzi Puller-Gertha, Mechanical Engineer, also completed another round of additions and revisions for the thermal lag report and tutorial for the City Center Heating and Cooling Open Source Hub. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued editing the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan Hub page and the Food Bars page, and research procurement for root vegetables, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the sustainability lesson plan and the personal growth lesson plan. This brings us to 40 of 52 finished, which is 77% completion. Additionally, the core team started researching to expand our Montessori page. Here you can see some of this behind the scenes work and the associated resources. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Ashwin Patil, web developer, finished the highest good economics and highest good energy search engines and added them to the website. Ashwin also started creating the Highest Good Society search engine. Vivian Rodriguez, translator, also continued helping translate our overview pages. This week, she finished the final 20% of the Highest Good of All page, as shown here in Portuguese. Well, there you have it. This is our strategic open source world creation process. You've seen one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. If you like more details, more specifics, links, to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks. We are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, we are on Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information. Uh, a lot of people say, how can I help? Well, this is our helping page for details on how you can help. The easiest way to help is to like this video, to help us share our information. Anybody can do that. It takes two seconds, helps us get the word out, and we're very much appreciative of that. Uh, also, any suggestions that people have, please send us an email. We're very grateful for that. Or add comments, uh, either on our social media posts or on our YouTube channel here. And uh, as always, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the donations that we get. We're 100% unpaid, all volunteer staff. So every dollar that's donated to one community goes into forwarding our mission. None of it goes to salaries. It all goes to keeping our website running and things like that. So we're very grateful for all the donations that we get. And uh, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping up. Thanks for following our progress.